Hey guys, um, this video we are going to talk about how to create a promo code in a Softin Extranet. So if you are watching this video, I believe you are either the Softin uh, user, existing users, or any potential uh, Softin users who is uh, looking for uh, the promo code system to create any promotion campaign for your hotel or your property. So um, let's uh, let me just show you how uh, to create a promo code in the Softin Extranet. So first thing first, you need to uh, log into your Extranet. Okay, so this is your dashboard after you log in, and you can see that your property name is over here, and this is your email. And then um, there are several ways for you to uh, access to the promotion uh, uh, creation dashboard. One of the ways is uh, through price. So you click on the price, and then you should be able to see that is this create promo code button. So you click on, click on it, and it brings you to the promotion uh, creation dashboard. Or alternatively, you can click on the price, and you see there is this uh, visit icon over here. And you click on it, it brings you to the several selections. And the number four is the one that I want to create promo code to give discount. So once you click on it, it brings you to the same uh, the dashboard just now. Or the last um, uh, way is for you to access to the promo code is you can go to more. And from our marketplace, where you can see there is this create promo code button over here, you click on it and it will bring you to the same uh, promotion uh, dashboard. So this is a promotion dashboard in um, uh, Softin Extranet. So um, as you can see, like these are the, the promotion campaign that uh, we have created. Our promo code offered by Softin uh, uh, is flexible enough for you to create a different type of promotion. For example, the common one, the basic one, and, and also early bird booking as well as the last minute booking. And you may also set your promotion campaign to be published and private in Sofin Extranet and you can define the, the promotion code, the unique code as you want and you can define the rates uh, of your discount as you want and the promotion period as well as the uh, allowed check-in time. So you can define everything in uh, for your promotion campaign so that you can customize them flexible enough to cater for any of your promotion campaign through Sofin Extranet. So for example, now I have a scenario where your hotel is planning to join an exhibition in Amata Fair, which is going to help on, uh, let's say, 24th of April until 26th of April. So for three days, 24, 25, and 26, three days in Amata Fair. And then uh, let's say, for example, the first uh, promotion campaign that you would like to create is um, you want uh, whoever that book within these three days in the, uh, during the Amata Fair, uh, they are able to enjoy, let's say, 10% discount uh, for any of their future check-in date, in date maybe until uh, next year. Okay, so this is how you can create. So first thing first, you click on the plus uh, button over here to create a new promotion. So in this case, I just choose a basic and then the status, I set it to active and the name, perhaps I can choose a uh, 10% and then the same description, I'm going to use it. So you can just put whatever description, which uh, later on when you check back to the promotion campaign, you know how to differentiate them. Okay, and then yeah, this one, I will just put Mata Fair 10 perhaps. Okay, and then 10% uh, discount. Yeah. and quantity perhaps I just wanted to offer the 100 only and then uh, the promotion valid means uh, uh, I set it to be uh, 24th April to 26th which is uh, the promotion only valid within these three days of Mata Fair so they need to make the booking within these three days of, uh, of the Mata Fair and then uh, they are allowed to check in anytime they want perhaps I will just set from today until the yeah, uh, next year uh, January 2021. Okay, and I don't want my promotion uh, to be applicable on a public holiday and no on a discounted price. And then I will just leave all these uh, uh, as it is first, and then just don't want to complicate the, the scenario. And then just make it applicable to all the room type, applicable to all days in a week. And then I don't want I, I want it to be on public, and I don't need a unique code. All right. So once you are happy with it, yeah, you can just save it and add on. So you can see that this is the promo uh, code that uh, promotion campaign that you have just created, right? And then you can see the, the status over here is active. So, so this is how uh, you can create a promo code um, using the basic promo type, promotion type uh, for the WhatsApp event. Okay, so um, we have covered uh, how to create a promo code uh, using the basic promotion time. And then uh, for the first scenario for your Mata Fair. So uh, let's imagine there is another scenario that you would like to create for another type of the promotion campaign for the Mata Fair to attract different type of audience. So uh, for example, you know that normally uh, your hotel low season will be in, uh, between July to end of uh, August. So, um, so you would like to uh, encourage people to book earlier for 
for the low season. So then uh, let's, for example, uh, and of course you wanted them to book during these three days of your Mata Fair, which is from 24th of April until 26th of April. So let's create a promotion campaign uh, using Sofin Extranet for this type of campaign. Now I will just click on the plus button here again. And then for this type of uh, promotion, because you, um, you you want them to book uh, for a specific uh, check-in period. So you can still use uh, the, uh, the basic time and then you click on the active. And for this case, maybe I just want them to want to give them a 20% discount because anyway, during the low season, the, the, the hotel occupancy rate will be uh, quite low. So in order to attract them, yeah, I'll just give them 20% discount. All right. Okay. And the promo code, um, I'll just differentiate it, Mata Fair 20. Okay. And the 20% discount uh, over here and the quantity, yeah, I've just 100. So I want them to book within uh, 24 to 26. Okay, within the three days of the Mata Fair. And then I, I uh, and the check-in date for them to qualify for this promo code, uh, I want it to be for the July, 1st of July until 31st of August. Okay, then I can just check no no for both discounted rates and also public holiday. And then the rest of the more setting, I'll just leave it as it is. So not to complicate the scenario. The rest of it, I will just set as uh, uh, for public use and no Unicode generated. So once I'm happy with it, I will just save changes. Yeah, then this is how you can create another type of promo code to attract different types of audience. Okay, and then as usual, you can go to the uh, eye icon over here for to, to look into or to track the promotion usage for the promo code. Okay, and of course, you can still create the print out, download the QR code and print out the QR code if you want. And then and you can track the usage of the of the promo code over here as well. And if anyone use this promo code MataFair20, you will be able to find the list of the booking using this promo code over here from the list. Okay, this so it. how to create a promo code for uh, where you can set the uh, the define the check-in date for your guests. Okay. And then another type of the uh, more than often we always uh, hear from hotelier where they wanted to create kind of like an early bird promotion. And how can you create a uh, how to create a promo uh, early bird promotion on Sofin Extranet? For example, the same case for Mata Fair, you want you wanted to create another promotion campaign for those uh, of the visitor or for those of the guests who book during these three days and uh, to check in in any of the day. Uh, they need to their check in date should be at least sixty days uh, uh, earlier in advance before the check in date. Okay, so this is kind of like the early bird promotion type. So you can also use um, our uh, promo code system to create this type of early bird promotion. Now, the same thing, you click on the uh, plus button here. And for this case, you choose the early bird bo booker. Okay, then you can define perhaps for this scenario, I want them to uh, book 60 days in advance before the check-in date. So I can just put 60 over here. And then the status, I will just set to active, name it. I will just put uh, Mata, okay. uh, maybe I will just give them 50% discount. Okay, so the description, and then I'll just put my town fair 50. Okay, and then um, the discount is 50%. The quantity, perhaps I just wanted to give, uh, uh, let's say, 50 units. Okay, and then the promotion valid between, I want them to book within these three days of the Mata Fair. So I will just choose the three days of my Mata Fair's event date. And then I, uh, I allow them to check in any date as they want. Perhaps uh, any date as they want, maybe I start with uh, May until next year, uh, April. Okay, so as long as the their check in date is within this one, and they need to book at least sixty days before their check in date, then they are qualified for this uh, promotion. Okay, the rest of it I will just leave it as it is. All right, and then I will just save changes and tap now. Okay, so this is the promotion campaign that you just created for the Mata Five Fifty. Okay. All right. Okay. So we have gone through a several example of uh, the uh, promotion campaign uh, that you can create for for your hotel or your property. So we have gone through the basic uh, promotion time and then the early pro uh, early promotion time. And then of course there is if you still remember there is this uh, uh, last minute uh, booking uh, promotion time on our Sofin Extranet. So normally uh, this is uh, rarely used, but uh, some of the hotel will still use that uh, when the occupancy rate is uh, really low and they really wanted to boost the occupancy rate, then they will just throw the last minute uh, promotion time. Of course, it is not um, you know advisable for hotel to always have the last minute uh, promotion time for of promotion campaign for the guests. Otherwise, it will be kind of like you educate your, your guests to always look for the, you know, wait for the last minute uh, promo code from you because they know you usually, you know, you often uh, run this kind of last minute uh, promotion campaign. So it's not healthy to have that kind of uh, uh, promotion campaign, but once in a while, it is still um, uh, doable. Okay, so for example, in this uh, scenario, we wanted to create a last minute booking because you know, like um, every uh, 
uh, 24th of uh, December, the Christmas Eve, uh, people will book for uh, 24th of December. And then uh, 25th of December is the exact public holiday for uh, Christmas. However, because 26th of December, normally people will have to get back to work. So 25th of the December itself, normally the occupancy rate will not be as high as the 24th of December, the Eve. So you know that, okay, the occupancy rate on 24th is usually 100% fully booked but then for 25th it is normally 80 percent occupied so you know that it's around like 20 percent uh, occupancy still uh, can be filled up so you can then run a last minute uh, promotion uh, campaign for this type of uh, uh, scenario say let's say uh, you can actually throw the promo code last minute promo code maybe you run it or post it on your social media or your website uh, on maybe 23rd of december then you, you can run the last minute promotion campaign for for your guests now how to do it is like you can select the last minute uh, promotion type over here and then you want them to book uh, one day within one day before the check-in date okay if let's say they book two days or three days more than one days and they will not be qualified for this last minute uh, promo code so uh, then uh, let's set for one day and then active and then let's uh, which can just try to put last minute Christmas okay and then um, let's see this is uh, last uh, Christmas okay 10% Okay, you want them to, to, to encourage them to stay for an, uh, to extend for another night. Okay, just maybe 10% and the quantity, because you have left only like around 20% of your occupancy rate, so you don't want to risk your the, the overbooking cases. Maybe you just put like 20, okay? And then uh, the promotion uh, valid between, uh, you can, they can just book anytime as they want, all right? As long as they need to qualify the one day before uh, the check-in date. And then uh, you can set the allowed check-in date because you wanted to fill the 25th, right? So this is the allowed check-in date that uh, where you can set it, which is the uh, 25th and then 26th, yeah. Then, yeah, this is how you can uh, set uh, set up for the last minute booking and then the rest of it, I will just remit, okay? So I can just save and add now. So this is it, how uh, your guests can use the promo. Uh, to test the booking, you can actually test the booking from the Softinex Runnet. So you can just go to the I icon over here where you can see uh, URL to access to your booking engine. Uh, we, we will also apply the promo code to the booking engine. So you can copy the URL and open a new, uh, tab and then this is your booking engine let's say the uh, i would like to check in the 25th of december and then check out 26 and i would like to uh, make a booking on that and then let's say the room is uh, just to push it and then you will see the error over here the promo code is auto applied to the booking engine and then uh, you will see the error message is the promotion is only applicable for booking check-in within one day of the check-in date and my 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 promotion my booking is 247 days ahead okay from the check-in date so i am not qualified for this uh, promo code okay so this is how it will uh, prompt to your guests if let's say they are not eligible for the uh, promotion so uh if you check out our previous video uh we have actually talked about how to create a promo code or uh, using the basic promotion type uh early bird promotion and then last minute promotion okay and then uh, today we are going to talk about a little bit further or a little bit advanced about how you can actually play around with the uh, promo code system on the extra net say for example you would like to create a promo code campaign and you would like to set your promo promotion campaign only to a specific vip guest so you want each of them to have only entitled for one promo code. So how we can actually create this kind of unique promo code and also the private offer uh, promotion campaign using Softin Extranet. So uh, same thing, you need to log into the uh, uh, your Extranet dashboard and then go to the promotion uh, dashboard and click on the add button over here. And then uh, you can just choose, uh, perhaps you wanted to offer them, uh, you know, they can book anytime they want and check in anytime they want because they are your vip right so perhaps you will just put uh my vip as my uh, the promotion name and then the description also five vip maybe okay me okay and then the promotion code is uh, i will just put uh, uh vip okay and then the discount yeah i give them 30 percent discount okay then the quantity is only five because i want to limit to five of them and then uh i can just put uh, i want them to to be able to book anytime as they want until uh, end of uh, next February, and then check in anytime as they want until uh, uh, next year, perhaps. Yeah. So you can set your uh, allowed check in date as you want. Okay. And then uh, uh, I I allow them. I don't allow them to apply the promo code on public holiday and also discount rates. 
Okay, so I just take no, no. And then the rest of the uh, setting, I'll just leave it as this is. And then for the private use, yes, I want to set it for private use. So when you see that once you choose yes for private use, it will tell you this, the promotion will not display on your website and also will not display on Sofi Marketplace. As you know, we, we Sofi also, we have our own uh, online marketplace called Let's Go Holiday Mine. Okay, so it will not be appear on our uh, marketplace website and also your website. Okay, so meaning this is only you, you as a hotelier who create this promo code know about this campaign. And then I wanted to generate the unique code. I, I, you know, I click yes and see what happened. So once I'm happy with it, I'll just save changes and add now. Okay, so here is the list of the unique code. You will see the prefix is a VIP, VIP, the one that I set for my promo code prefix. And the unique code is this. Okay, each and individual unique code is different and it is a randomly generated uh, code. So uh, to prevent people from you know, misuse or double use or overuse of the uh, promo code. So you can actually uh, export the unique code into Excel or PDF. Okay, so then you can uh, copy and paste and send it to your VIPs individually in the email and all these things. Okay, and then uh, if once you close it, yeah, from the uh, dashboard, the promotion dashboard, you'll be able to see also the usage of the uh, this promo code and also the QR code if any. And then you, if you wanted to know like and, uh, any of your five VIPs has already used this uh, promo code, then you, as usual, you can check from the list over here. Okay, so this is how. And then if let's say you forgot when you create the, the campaign, you forgot to download the PDF for the uh, unique code, you can always come back to this page and uh, you can see view unique code. So it will bring, bring you back to the uh, the page uh, where you can see and download the PDF for the unique code. All right. So this is how you can actually uh, further use if you wanted to create the uh, uh, promo code uh, campaign uh, for a private use campaign. Yeah, so I hope this helped you to better understand about how flexible Softin uh, promo code system is. And then I, I wish that this you find this video uh, useful and helpful for you to create any of your promotion campaign on Softin Extranet for your hotel or your property. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.